We all know that heat is the enemy of performance. Whether it's coolant, air, or oil, having too much temperature is a great way to actually decrease the performance of your vehicle. Today, we're gonna to improve the performance of our 2018 Mustang GT with an oil cooler system from Ishimoto. This Mishimoto oil cooler is going to fit your 2018 and up Mustang GT. It's going to replace the factory coolant based setup with an air based setup. Now, the benefit of that is with the factory system, once your coolant gets up to temperature, now you're circulating hot coolant through the oil cooler and it doesn't do a very efficient job, especially on the track. Switching to an air based system is going to be much more efficient. And this system comes with a thermostatic plate. What that's going to do is actually not circulate anything until it gets to a certain temperature. So allow your car to roll up a lot faster as well. Again, this is a far more efficient system and a direct replacement for the stock setup on your 18 and up Mustang GT. So since the oil cooler is going to mount in the front in the grill area, the first thing we have to do for the installation is remove our entire front bumper cover so we have more access. Now remove the eight screws across the top here. All right, down to the fenders, we're gonna move the liner hardware inside here. Now in your factory car, those will be push pins because we have the Roush front end, ours has screws. And I need to pull the fender liner back. You can access to two screws, basically two nuts right behind here to separate the bumper from the fender. Once nuts are loose, just give it a little tug downward. There's a little clip in there still. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, moving underneath, remove the hardware from the belly pan so we can take that off next. Okay, now we can carefully lift up and remove the bumper. Disconnect the lights. All right, the front bumper off. We're going to drain the radiator. Remove the radiator brackets. The radiator has some room to move. Now you want to work the mounting bracket up into place. You want to push back on the radiator and condenser a little bit to give yourself some room. There's two mounting holes in the back that'll line up with and use the supplied bolts to bolt it in place. Now you can reinstall your upper radiator bracket. All right, so now we can mount the actual cooler itself. All right, this is adjustable, so if you have like an intercooler or something, you have room for it. But in our case, since our car is naturally aspirated, we're just gonna push it all the way back to the rear of the bracket. All right, now remove our cold air intake to give us a little more room to work. Like I mentioned in the intro, the factory oil cooler is coolant based. So your lower radiator hose here has two lines that go to the oil cooler. This line will be replaced with the insulation so we're not using the factory system anymore, so it has to come off. The 
sure you have a drain ready because you probably will lose a little bit of coolant here. You can work around it. We're gonna pull this tray off though so you can see better what we're doing here. Here's a clamp for the lower radiator hose. So before you pull the hose off, release the two hoses that go to the oil cooler. Prepare for some fluid here. Then reach your hand above the filter and then get the other coolant hose off and then both are disconnected. All right, those lines disconnected. Now we can actually remove our lower hose. Now we can pull the hose down and out of the car. Possible. All right, now I have to get the actual oil cooler plate off. So to do that, we start by removing the oil filter, and then we can remove the oil cooler adapter. Okay, with the factory hose removed, now we're gonna install the new lower radiator hose provided by Mishimoto. Once the hose is installed, you can take the stainless steel lines now and connect them to the cooler and then fish them down so we can connect them to the plate. Now we're gonna remove the factory oil cooler adapter. To do that, there's a 14 millimeter Allen key right in the middle of the threads. Now, more than likely you do not have a 14 millimeter Allen key in your toolbox, I didn't either. So it's a tool you wanna to make sure you have handy before you begin the installation. You will lose some oil here again. And now we're gonna install our new thermostatic plate from Mishimoto. I'm just gonna hand tight this for now. On the sandwich plate hand tight, we can install the fittings. Use a one inch wrench just to tighten down the fittings. Now we're gonna trace down the longer line which goes to the passenger side that's going to come down here and go to the top of the sandwich plate and then the shorter line goes to the bottom All right, I'm going to grab a one inch wrench Tighten these fittings. Make sure the lines are where you want them and then tighten down the adapter. Put snug, grab your torque wrench and torque it to 30 foot pound. All right, now that's tight, grab our filter and reinstall. I now connect the radiator hose supplied by Mishimoto and tighten the clamp. All right, now we can connect the hose up top here on our engine side. So at this point, we're actually finished the installation of our Mishimoto oil cooler. What you're going to do now, put your cold air kit back in, make sure all the lines are not touching anything. Make sure oil lines are clear of belts, hoses, anything can get in the way. Make sure everything is tight. Reinstall your front bumper and put your car back together. Now that everything's installed, the last step is to top off our fluids. Now remember we lost a little bit of oil, we took the filter off, so we wanna to top that off. In addition, the oil cooler system will actually add one quart of oil, so instead of a 10 quart system on these cars, now it's 11 quarts. 
So what you want to do there, though, is actually get the car up to running temperature. Check the oil first. Once it gets running and starts circling the oil, double check it. It's probably going to be a quart low, and you'll want to top it off. And then again, antifreeze, just fill up like normal. Ford obviously saw the benefit of an oil core by installing a factory one on the Mustang, and the Mishimoto just takes that to the next level. So your car is really driven hard, especially if it's tracked. Upgrading the oil cooler is an excellent idea. Now, overall, this installation is a bit time consuming, but not terribly difficult. Give yourself, though, about three to four hours. We'll be back on the road in no time.